Hey everybody, I've got a book to read to you today. The title is The Secret Life of Trees. And you can take a look at this front cover and try to guess if you think this book is going to be a fiction or a non-fiction book. Remember, fiction is a made-up story and non-fiction is about something real. Well, if you guessed that this was a non-fiction book, you are correct. Do you know the oldest living thing in the world? Can you guess the heaviest living thing on earth? Or the tallest thing alive? What do you think they might be? The answer to all three questions is a tree. Trees are all around us. But what do you really know about them? Turn the page and discover the secret world of trees. When you look at a tree, what do you see? You see bark, that protects the tree's trunk and branches. The bark at the bottom is old. It is rough and cracked. At the top, the bark is young and smooth. The tallest tree alive today is over 360 feet high. It is a coast redwood growing in California. There is enough wood in its trunk to build over 300 houses. Wow. When you look at a tree, you can only see half of it. The other half is underground. These are the roots, pushing their way through the thick earth. Rooting around, the roots of a tree that is 150 feet tall stretch under the earth for an area of the size of a soccer field. They can spread out through the soil as far as the tree is high. Well, that's the part we don't see under the ground. A tree can live longer than all other living things. It can live for hundreds, even thousands of years. The oldest tree, the oldest recorded tree in the world, is a bristlecone pine. It is an amazing 4,900 years old. Wow. A tree needs sunlight and water to grow. High above the ground, the tree leaves use energy from the sun to make food. Below ground, the tree's roots spread out in search of water. When you look at a tree, you can see a home for many animals and birds. High up in the branches, birds carefully build nests. They lay their eggs out of sight and out of reach of other animals. Under the tree branches, wasps may build a nest. Insects and bugs live on and under a tree's bark. Insect disguise. Some insects, like these thorn bugs, disguise themselves as part of a tree so they don't get eaten. In the earth, under the roots of a tree, rabbits and badgers dig their homes. A tree in summer is an animal hotel. Trees come in all shapes and sizes, but there are two main types, broad leaf trees and conifers. A broad leaf tree has large flat leaves on its wide spreading branches. The shady green forests of eastern North America are mostly made up of broad leaf trees. Many broad leaf trees change their leaves as the season changes. So when we have fall and we see those beautiful fall colors on the leaves, that is the type of tree we're seeing it on. There we go. In the cold chill of winter, most broadleaf trees have no leaves. The leaves have dropped off because there is less sunlight. As spring begins, fresh new leaves open from buds on the branches. The tree wakes up from its winter sleep as the days get longer and there is more sunlight. 
By summer, the tree is covered with bright green leaves. The leaves give shade, shelter, and food to many animals and insects. As the weather gets colder in the misty autumn, the tree's leaves change color. Some leaves turn brown, others turn bright yellow or brilliant red. Then they fall to the ground. The tree is getting ready to sleep again until next spring. New trees are born when older trees drop their seeds on the ground. A seed faces many dangers. Hungry animals may eat it. Growing acorns. In one summer, a fully grown oak tree can produce up to 50,000 acorns. It may be stepped on and crushed. Most seeds never survive to grow into a tree. Broadleaf trees protect their seeds. Some put them in a hard shell, like an acorn or a chestnut. Not all trees lose their leaves in winter. Some, like conifers, are evergreen. Conifers can live in colder places than most broadleaf trees. Instead of wide, flat leaves, they have short, sharp needles that shed snow easily. Bouncy branches. The branches of a conifer are extra bouncy. This is so they don't snap even when covered with thick snow. Conifer trees produce hard scaly cones to protect their seeds. Cones come in different sizes. Some are less than half an inch. The cone of, a, of the sugar pine is two feet long. Wow. A pine cone can help you forecast the weather. When it is warm, the scales of the cone open up. They close again when a storm is on the way. This is to keep the seeds dry. Very interesting. I will have to pay very close attention to that. Wherever you are in the world, you can usually find trees growing. In steamy, wet jungles, trees grow so close together that hardly any light reaches the forest floor. Thanks to the heat and rainfall, these trees grow faster than other trees, up to 15 feet each year tree houses. In the African forest, chimpanzees spend nearly all their lives up in the trees. They only go down to the jungle floor to look for food. Tropical trees grow in the warmest countries of the world. Lots of tasty fruits and nuts come from tropical trees. Avocados, dates, mangoes, and Brazil nuts. Mm. Coconut palms grow wild on the beaches of many tropical countries. This palm tree seed is inside its hairy coconut shell. The shell contains milk so the seeds can start growing even if it's washed up somewhere dry. Killer trees. The seed of the strangler fig grows in the roots of another tree. As it grows, its roots strangle the other tree and cut out the sunlight until it dies. Oh boy. When you look at a tree, you can see the source of wood and paper. The table you sit at and the chair you sit on may be made of wood from trees. The swing you play on may be made from wood. And the biggest secret of all, even the book you're reading comes from a tree. So this page is just recognizing trees and this just shows different types of broadleaf trees and their leaves and what they look like. So if you're out for a walk and you see some different types of leaves, you can tell which tree they're coming from. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy learning some new things about trees.